is a blues rock icon, a Grammy-nominated guitarist, was signed to a major label record deal at just 13 years of age. <laughs> Kenny Wayne Shepherd has a brand new album out, Dirt on My Diamonds, Volume One. He's in town for a show at the Four Winds Casino this weekend, and uh, well, it's so great to have you here with us. It's great to be here. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. Here. Here. Yeah. So, uh, how do you define your music? You know, I was listening to a lot of your songs this morning, and like one is real rocky, and one mm -hmm. is bluesy, and you know, it's like that's got to be the artist's dream to be able to just jump around like that, right? Definitely. I mean, you know, to be able to pursue whatever music I feel inspired to create, you know, and I think after 30 years of doing this, we've kind of earned that right. But, you know, usually I get the blues label put on me because I'm a huge blues fan and blues music is what I grew up listening to and learning how to play guitar. But <clears throat> at times, you know, people refer to it as contemporary blues or uh, there was one phrase which was blues infused rock and roll. I mean, ultimately, <laughs> it's 100% American music. It's yeah. heavily blues influenced. Yeah. But our latest album, Dirt on My Diamonds, you know, you can hear R&B, you can hear rock, you can hear some country influence. I yeah. mean, we just kind of touch on a lot of different genres and bring it all together. So how did they find you at age 13? Were you at like the school talent show? I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know how that happens. No, I was playing uh, the first time I got on stage. I was 13 down in New Orleans on Bourbon Street, sat in with an old blues guy named Brian Lee. Wow. And uh, Your parents said, we're going to bring you to a blues bar. Yeah. No, seriously. <laughs> well, my, my dad was in radio. Okay. So I grew up around music. I grew up going to every concert yeah. that came through oh. town. And so I was absorbing all that at a very young age, you know, and had no idea that this was the path I was going to take. Did I, I, I read that you met Stevie Ray Vaughan because, through your dad when you were seven? Yes. and is that, that was, Is that a true story? It was a life-changing moment for me because I was already interested in guitar and I could play things like Smoke on the Water. Yeah. And, yeah. You know. <laughs> but I saw Far him out, play. Man. He was so <laughs> incredible and he played with so much passion and so much intensity and I was just in awe of him and from that day forward I was like I need a real electric guitar and once I got my hands on one I just played for hours and hours every day until I could make it sound like something. You, you talk about the direction blue that you can take it here and there. And I just wonder, like, as an artist, do you ever listen to a disco song or air supply or something and say, hey, I can maybe get <laughs> something out of that? Well, yes, you. things will strike you. I mean, for example, on the new record, we did a cover of Elton John's uh, Saturday Night's All Right for Fire. Oh, yeah. And I heard that song a million times in my life, right? But one day it just struck me. I heard it differently, and I thought, you know, we could do a good version of that song. And so we covered it. And so things like that eventually find their way into the music that you're writing. Huh. You were Got talking it. before the show about how you've had this evolution where everyone was like, oh, he's that young kid. So anyway, and now all of a sudden it's like, well, I'm not that young kid anymore, right? Yeah, there was so much focus because, you know, I got the term, uh, the label child prodigy, you know, yeah. and there, there was so much attention placed on my age because I was so young when I started my career. And now I'm 47 years old. I have six wonderful children, very six happily kids. married. Yeah. And, and it's like now I'm transitioning into being part of the elder kind of generation of, of blues music and, and trying to help give my platform to the young up-and-comers of this generation as well. But I'm glad that I've lived long enough to be at this yeah. point. You know? How do you reconcile uh, having you know six kids and being a dad but also being on the road and in studios, that's got to be tricky sometimes. It's all about balance. You know, I have a commitment to my fans and to my family. And so the point has been to not neglect either one of those commitments. And I think, you know, working with my wife and working with my team that we've come up with a nice balance, you know, with the touring schedule and the home schedule that really seems to be working for Do us. Do any of your kids have interest in music? They're all musically inclined. None of them have taken to an instrument yet like I did when yeah. I was younger, but it's not that they they can't they just haven't chosen to and I'm not trying to force it on them mm. yeah. so we'll see what happens but I you know I hope one of them does as, sure. mu as much as you would have had to have practiced as a kid did you do you feel like you missed out on a regular childhood like throwing rocks at cars no and... I used to got I used to get that uh, question early yeah. on in my career they'd be like well you think you're missing out on anything but the but the things that I got to experience as a result of my career starting so early in my life I got to do things that people dream yeah. about you yeah. know I have traveled the world many times over. I played all these legendary venues, some of which we're going to be doing on our tour this year again. But it's like I got to do so many things that people can only dream about huh. when other people are just trying to figure out what college they were going right. to go to. Can we hear some more from your album? I think we have something queued up. If all we right. can hit play, then we can all hear it. Or not. this 
titled Dirt on My Dime. So it's, that's the title song of the record, and uh, producer Marshall Altman and I kind of were tossing around ideas, but it's really about the message of the song. <clears throat> if you want to get into it, basically the song is about, you know, we're all kind of diamonds in the rough, and it's about seeing the, p the potential in each one of us, but also embracing the flaws that we all have, uh, because that's what makes us unique and different, and it gives us opportunities to grow. So we thought that was kind of a nice theme for the record. Well, it's a pleasure meeting you. You can check out Kenny Wayne Shepherd tonight at Four Winds Casino in New Buffalo. Check out his website for all the tour details. Follow him on social media. So good to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks Thank for being you. here. We'll be right back.